Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. When it comes to living a healthy and fit lifestyle, one of the things that can really halt your progress is this idea that you have to have super fast results. It can cause you to give up or bounce from plan to plan or just plain frustrate you. So let's talk about this mindset of needing fast results. Stay tuned. Hey there, my friend, Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Last Podcast, the power of possibility, passion, and purpose. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And in this episode, we're going to talk about giving up that belief that you have to have fast results on your health and fitness journey. So use these tips to transform the health and quality of your life. And before we get into that, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Whether this is the first time you've been on Power Blast Podcast or you're a regular listener, thanks so much for being here. If you are a regular listener or just listening in your podcast app, please be a friend. Drop in, leave an honest rating and review. That helps others discover the show. If you are on the YouTube video version, I'm waving at you. Be an awesome friend. Smash the subscribe button and the notifications bell. That way you won't miss a show. And it'd be crazy awesome if you dropped in. Put a comment in there. Hit the thumbs up like button. That helps with the YouTube algorithm as well and shows it to more people. So you absolutely rock, my friend. Okay, so you've seen the ads on TV and even the infomercials promising fast results. Heck. I was even featured in one of those infomercials. Um, The hook is compelling. I mean, who doesn't want super fast results to get your ideal health, fitness, strength, weight loss, whatever your goal is? Back in the day, you know, I was researching the the quick fix things, diet pills, uh, juices, cleanses, uh, even different surgeries. Uh, but, But here's the thing that really hit me when I started on my journey. Um, and it really flipped the, the switch in my mind. Um, I thought, you know, if tomorrow I woke up in my ideal, fit, healthy body, what would I do to keep it? Who would that person be? And if you remember an episode or two ago, I was talking about how, how fit people think and, and to do those things now. Well, I started thinking, how, how would I think? How would I act? You know, would I be, would I be just, you know, what would I eat? Would, would I be going and grabbing, you know, pizza every night and not exercising? Or would I be doing some different things? Um, so I decided that's the person I needed to start being. I had to start being that person right now. Not a person that's just looking for a quick fix or fast results because healthy changes, uh, they're, they're going to take time. And and if I'm getting the quick fix, I, I haven't learned the habits. I haven't learned the things that I need to do and most likely would return to old habits and old ways. The magic wand effect would just be a temporary thing. So I needed to find a way to make them sustainable for life. Otherwise, old habits, old thinking, that's all going to come back. Uh, and when it takes the... the Time to it takes time to sculpt your body, uh, especially with strength training and stuff. You know, you, you've got to think six to twelve weeks be, before you're really noticing any big changes physically. And I just know way too many people that give up two or three weeks because the results aren't coming fast enough. They're stepping on the scale and not seeing it drop super fast, or they're checking themselves out in the mirror and they're like, "I don't have six pack abs." Right? Body sculpting it, it takes time. Creating sustainable, healthy habits takes time. Persistence. That's the name of the game here. It's it's progressing through all circumstances to reach your goal and sustain those healthy habits and and improve on them. And so as I was going, and I would consider, you know, it's like, oh, gosh, everybody's eating this certain way. Um, I'll research it. And then I would stop myself and I'd say, do I see myself doing those habits for a lifetime, you know, or is this just a temporary diet thing where, you know, I I really, I, I, I start it, but I can't wait to get back off it. Right. So, and not letting the mirror or the scale get in your head. Um, you're not going to get those six pack abs overnight. And you know, if, if that's your goal, (laughs) um, but you need to be persistent. Um, 
striving to improve a little bit each day. That's just a little bit better than the day before. That's that's what I'm always going for. You know, some days it doesn't always go that way, but that, that's in my mindset. It's like it's just a little bit better than the day before because improvements will start to come. They'll start to happen, and that that creates this avalanche of you know possibilities uh opportunities for yourself health and wellness it, it doesn't come in an instant I, I i get the quick fix uh you know need the fast results thing it, it it's it's alluring and you know especially when you've gotten sick and tired of either being sick and tired or it's just so been so long since you've drifted off course that you're frustrated with yourself and you want it gone right away you want it gone as as fast as possible and you know, a lot of times it's like, man, I just, I just want it to, I, I just don't want to be frustrated anymore. And I don't want to feel overwhelmed. And I, and I don't want to have to put in all this hard work and effort to get there. But you know what? It takes time. It takes energy. It takes determination. It takes repetition. It takes consistency. It takes endurance. And I will tell you, in time, it will get easier. You will find your groove. You will find that you're getting the results. They don't always happen overnight. And so I think knowing that going in, um, you know, I think a lot of times people know it's going to happen going in, but they always want the results super fast and then tend to ricochet and bounce from thing to thing. And then the results aren't coming at all. So it's sticking with it. Sometimes the results come in a few months like they did with me. Uh, sometimes they take longer. You know, it, it took me 90 days to lose the weight that I was wanting to lose. And to be honest, I thought, okay, I'm done with this 90 days. I can go back and just live my life and, and, and sustain things. But I didn't adopt the habits that I needed to be. And weight started to come back on. And laziness and old habits and old ways started coming. I'm like, ah, that's the highlight. That This is a lifetime thing. You can't just stop. You've got to keep going. This You've got to make this part of your lifestyle. So it took me another year to actually sculpt the body that I was looking for. So it didn't happen in a few days or even a few weeks. It's about taking your time and enjoying the journey. For me, as of this recording, it's 19 years now. That That's where that light bulb moment happened, and I've just made it sustainable. Have I drifted off course a few times? Sure, but nothing that I couldn't get back and say, you know what, I know what I need to do. Uh, So it's making this a lifelong commitment, just knowing that you are in control and more powerful than you really realize. Be patient and take action no matter what. Be persistent to reach your goals, progressing through all circumstances because life will take you sideways from time to time. It's choosing to give up the excuses and the alibis and and pointing at blame at other things and just rewriting that limiting belief of, you know, I don't know how, I, I need the results super fast. Um, it's choosing to figure out new ways, looking at possibilities, growing and keep moving forward. Your wins, they're going to add up more and more. Just keep setting those those uh, goals of yours and keep progressing steadily to improve. your. It, it really boosts your confidence along the way. Consistency, that's going to be your friend. And challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to, to get better. When, once things start to go to get in that little comfort zone, it's like, I'm going to challenge myself. Go a little bit more. So I'd love to hear your top takeaway from today. Please drop me a line on social or you can email me over at perry at putyourselffirst.com. And even in the subject line or in message, drop the word transform and I'll help you map out a transformation inside out 90 day game plan. I'll help you audit your current health and fitness so that you can have, have that perfect game plan going forward and create momentum even faster. I love helping people figure out and remove the obstacles and barriers that often get in the way of your health and fitness goals. So, and another thing, if you'd like more motivation, support tips and strategies, consider joining my free Upside Down Fitness community. We're a fun group of people just striving to make make healthier, happier, awesome habits in this awesome chapter of life. And in there, I do 52 weeks of free coaching. I even do some master classes. I've got one coming up pretty soon. Um, so. And also share guides and resources that you can have. I promise you'll absolutely love it. Head over to UpsideDownFit.com. That's all I have for this week. 
Thanks so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate you. Please share with somebody that you know could benefit. Subscribe uh, and leave an honest rating and review in your podcast app so others know about this show. And if you're over on YouTube, as I said, uh, catching the video version, please subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you get notified each time a new show drops. You absolutely rock, my friend. That's all I have for this week. And as always, remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.